Hello world, lock picking dev. Today I'm going to do something a little different and take you through my entire collection of locks. Reason being, someone recently tried to rob me and uh, luckily I was home and, uh, to stop it and um, it reminded me that I really need to go through and take an inventory of my entire lock collection just in case. Uh, this first part here of my gate of locks, I'll go through a little quicker because we already recognize and know a lot of these locks and then later uh, on the ones that aren't pad locks, I'll go through individually and kind of show them, show what there what there is out there. So on the bottom here, don't mind my pup in the background. On the bottom here, we have about 70 or so Morris lockout tagout locks. That's the uh, black logo right there with the M on it. From left to right, all my locks are ordered and uh, model order. So you can see number three to 911. The 6821s, um, got an Arvatar Pro series over here, 6835, 6840s, 6850, 7050s, um, etc. And then right up above it, we have some of our Brinks locks. We got about four of them there, a couple U Haul. Um, we got Degard there. And then that leads us straight into our pack lock section, which you can see just tons of pack lock here. Um, Starting up here, like 100A, um, 200A, 90A, uh, I believe that's the 400A, just all the pack lock models right there. And then if we go down, back over, we got a whole bunch of lockout tag out locks right there. Uh, CASP, that's a mixture of a lot of locks right there, by the way. Uh, CASP locks, Centurion right there. And then a whole bunch of federal locks right here. So all the different little small brass models right there. Got quite a few of these black ones right here. Um, the SS series. We got our, our Morris, our Berg Vokter. Uh, a couple padlocks right there. Squire. Um, what's this one over here? That is a, another guard padlock. And up above that, that starts with our American locks. So we got, again, in order, the older brass padlocks over here. And then moving into our round bodies, the, um, the, the little, I've got the older round body padlock there that's not a tubular core. And then we have our 1105s, 1100s, 5200s, etc. going on this way. Uh, to the north of that, we got our Abus starter. So we got our Dimple Abus over here along with our Lottos and then moving over this way onto our Titaliums right there. Our um, other models, what is that? The uh, 7045s I believe is the number. And then on over here to, um, after our Titaliums we have some with the triple eight core in it, uh, triple eight core with lock noobs pins in it. Um, I forget what that one right there has in it. Let's see. Oh, Schlage Everest is in that one right there. Uh, to the right of it, we have the Avis Rock. You can see that nice and clear right there. Avis Granite 8850 disc detainer. Um, we got a Lock Void Lock, which is kind of like um, that CLK Supplies brand. Uh, to the right of that, we have Ace Padlocks. Um, more Pack Lock right there. Schlage Kryptonite over here. Stanley. Um, pack lock, puck lock, more kryptonite. We got a kryptonite uh, disc lock, kryptonite padlock, another little kryptonite padlock, Slayer, or is it Slaymaker? Sorry, Slayer, uh, Slaymaker, an Almont uh, um, padlock right there, one of those interchangeable cores. That's a pain in the ass frame. Here's our handcuffs up here. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Uh, left to, or right to left, general pair, uh, Viper, let's see, yeah, general pair, Viper, um, Smith & Wesson 100s, we got uh, Peerless, and we have a couple models of, um, what are those right there, I forget, the ASP cuffs right there, so yeah, our black ASP cuffs right there. And then on top we have our Boa Medico uh, key pair of handcuffs, badass cuffs. Got some old um, skull locks that you can see up the top there. This thing's collecting, it's like skulls. 
nice big uh, Medeco military padlock there. We all know that one. Um, got some Corbins hidden in here, right in that section right there. Federal. Uh, some more ass alloy there. I'll show off later. We have our Yales over here. I do love the Yale section. Got a whole big selection of Yales here. And uh, each of these Yales, uh, these older ones here, have a different keyway on them. So I tried collecting all the keyways on those Yales. And up in the top right, we have an American uh, Puck Lock and a new set Puck Lock. And then uh, last but not least, over here, we have our Yale Advertising Board. And let's see, actually, I'll move this over here. It has the um, models on it, so. 771, 773, 774, 775. That's 830 and 840. I was lucky to find this off a um, retiring locksmith. And I'll just go ahead and show the whole display here. Here are a lot of locks that I have sitting out just to pick on uh, near my couch or at my desk. And we'll start with over here. I just have a little, little bitty master lock, little CCL, little Samsonite lock for travel. And we have a master 410 or a, a lotto. We have a American tube lock or a barrel lock. Very nice little lock. Got a couple Stanley padlocks here. Oops, let's not lose our lock over here. These things are fun. Good amount of uh, good amount of pins on them, and getting the feel for them was kind of a pain for the first time through. Got our lockwoods over here. 334B45. So the only difference between these is, I believe, just the shackle guards there. We have some best over here, just a normal best core. Nice body. Right here we have a Marks cylinder inside of a best core. And a Marks is one of those. It's too bright. It's one of those fun uh, slider locks. We have another best padlock that I have not got any uh, opens on yet. Just basically trying to get the core out. Up here, just a little the guard padlock, another Brinks padlock. This little one's actually uh, fun to pick. It's uh, full of um, spool pins. We have an Abus body with a Falcon core on it. A uh, little Abus Marine or Silver Rock, and that's not the Marine, this is a Silver Rock. The Marine's the Dimple one. Here is the Marine. We have a Brinks padlock. We have Casp 14040. They're fun locks to pick for sure. I had to get a few of them when I, when I was able to. We have a Trimax. Not too bad of a pick, just like an American lock. This one is, I believe, the full six pins here. Uh, GD American lock clone. I forgot what the uh, the brand name is. I got it over there somewhere. We have a Schlage body with a Schlage core in it, in which you can can't pull it out, but it's basically one of those sleeves where you can pull it out, insert a new core in. We have a Trimax puck lock. I do enjoy picking the puck locks. Here are a bunch of miscellaneous locks I just had all around. Uh, this one's a uh, disc padlock pro. I keep this around for um, if I actually need to use a lock. 
These ones are pretty good. Uh, just a, um, a Chateau tubular lock. And we have a little Corbin uh, drawer lock that I got from uh, Matt Burroughs. Instructions and installer here. Another, I, think, I believe this is a Corbin. Yeah, Corbin uh, Ordnance Department. You see, yeah, Ordnance Department. Um, I don't know what key is for this. I haven't been able to pick this open yet. Um, any tips on this would be greatly appreciated. Uh, another just little U.S. set uh, Eagle Lock. This little brass lock. Slay maker. Got a herd lock. I got this from a friend. He said he was able to pick it open. There's only three pins in it. It goes counterclockwise, but I just haven't had any luck with it yet. Little yellow lock. I just don't have a key for it yet. Another herd lock that I got from a friend. Or actually, I got this in the antique store. No key. Um, this one's super weird trying to pick it. Uh, yeah, I have to kind of almost not put any tension on it. This is a Master 410 that I 3D printed and put the core inside, so I can show how it works. We have an ICO, ISEO, Euro, Euro cylinder. We have an Oxlock 2 star Euro cylinder. Ivana Euro cylinder. I've got this one in a nice little 3D printed holder so I can pick it in my hand. Up here we have a just generic cross lock that I got online. This is a challenge lock made by Lock Jockey. Got that set aside to pick. That's the only challenge lock I have right now. If you have any, please send them this way. Eagle lock. This is one where it opens that way. So you actually have to push and then turn. Uh, this one I've had a long time and I didn't know the name. It was Guerville Requeur, I believe. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you spell it, but uh, this thing has a really strong spring tension, and I've only picked it a couple times. Nice brass lock. Sergeant and Greenleaf uh, dial lock, safe dial combo lock. I probably won't screw up that too much. I haven't messed with it yet. We have a um, registered mail lock, counter lock. Uh, this did not come with the key in it, so uh, someone actually sent me the dimensions for a key, measured it out, and I have a working key which is in my video. It's okay. I'll screw with it. Anyway, we have a uh, Arco lock. This is many pins. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six pins, I believe. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins. Yeah. Uh, all standard pins. And this is on uh, safe bags. That's why you see it. I have it attached to a zipper to demonstrate that it was on a uh, bank deposit bags on the zippers. Uh, Medico uh, Brooks Air Force Base lock. The only thing I'm missing for this is a key for the cylinder here and some pins for it. Then in our back here, just some typical exit combo locks. And then we have our safe. Our, uh, I believe it's a, I got the groups mixed up. I believe it's a group three. I believe, yeah, group three. Oh, group two. Okay, yeah, group two. Sergeant Greenleaf. What model? But we also have another one back here as well that's actually hooked up to a board and is functioning as well. And that is the miscellaneous locks I have. I haven't messed too much with lever locks yet, but this is basically what I have. Over here we have a Sanic Jaguar. Here, focus. There we go. Then we have a Shield Victor. Zoom in a little bit there. There we go. Shield Victor. We have a Reese. We have quite a few of these uh, Master Lock ones here. This one's was 55. These look the same right here both 66's nothing on the other side this one says 55 on one side 99 on the other plan on impressing those we have another little master lock one here up the top here we have our lever locks we got a Corbin six levers 
We have a, another six lever lock right here. Eagle, six, six levers. Iron sides, six lever. We have a Sergeant Easy Spring uh, lever door lock here. And then just a little practice lever lock that you can unscrew and see the levers. And watch how it works as you're picking it. Here are the majority of the disc detainer locks I have. I, I haven't done too much in these yet. I've been wanting to dab on it. It's got these cheap little Chinese ones I've got from overseas. Uh, just, you know, something can be started in it. Sanke, I don't know how to uh, pronounce the other one I want to try. Oh, I found that like the um, the disc detainer tools I have just are too big to fit in the ends of those. So I, those little ones I'm not too worried about at the moment. And I forgot the brand of this one, but yeah, you can see another Chinese disc detainer lock there. X Tiger. Um, up here, this is a solo disc detainer. I actually got this one from Thailand um, while I was there. This was, uh, I like to get a lock at the places I go to, and this is the one I got there. So it's an actual Thailand brand lock. So I was happy about that. Uh, LAI Group, I got this on eBay. It's a disc detainer lock with no key. So this will be really interesting when I really get into things. I have an ASA Abloy 321. Another half smiley faced hole like that one. And then we have an on guard right here. This is actually um, my disc tenure, a, um, a slider lock. Another thing I've been working on here. 